Three years ago, I was Siddhartha, the Brahmin's son, who left his home to become a sadhu. However, that was yesterday. Today, I have entered a new path that leads to your garden. I shall never lower my eyes before yours. Not even your fan can hide their beauty. Is that all you have come to tell me, young Brahmin? I have come to say that you are all the things that will outlive me. That you, Kamala, will be all the beauty that will be in the shadow we leave. You will be my first love, my only love. Well, this is the first time that a sadhu has come from the woods with a desire to love me. I've never seen a sadhu talk like this before. I learned a lot today when I got rid of my beard. Look, I have oiled and combed my hair. I'm already beginning to learn from you. Many young men come to me. And they all have fine clothes, fine shoes, scent in their hair and money in their pockets. That is how young men come to me. You can't just be some beggar from the woods. Don't you understand? But how can I be rich? How can I be worldly? Oh, many people want to know about that. Tell me, what can you do? I can think. I can wait. I can fast. Nothing else? I can recite a poem for a kiss. Will you give me a kiss for a poem? Mm hmm. What about the poem? Tell me, can't you do anything else other than think? Fast and compose poetry? I can do spells. I know how to do incantations. I read the scriptures. You can read and write? Well, I think I can find a job for you. There's another visitor for you. Just come as well. I'm sorry you'll have to go. There's another visitor for me, but perhaps I will see you tomorrow. I found a job for you. Oh, yes? It's with a rich merchant, Kamaswami. You are lucky, Siddhartha. One door after another is being opened to you. Tell me, how does it happen? Do you have a special charm? I told you yesterday that I can think, wait, and fast. But you didn't consider that important. You will see, Kamla that this sadhu from the forest can do things that other men can't. I've come to you to learn about love. From the first glance I knew that you would be my teacher, my guru. But what if I said no? But you haven't, Kamala, because you recognize that I'm like a stone thrown into the water. A stone that finds its way quickly into the depths. In the same way, when I have a goal, I do nothing. I wait. I think. I fast. I have been told that you are a Brahmin, a man with some knowledge of writing, that you seek service with a merchant. Are you in need, Brahmin, that you seek service? No, I'm not in need. I have never been in need. I have lived for many years in the forest. I have been with the sadhus. How's that, that you are not in need? Are not all sadhus completely without possessions? I have no possessions, if that's what you mean. 
I certainly am without possessions of my own free will, so I'm not in need. How do you live without possessions? I've never thought of that. I lived for years in the forest without possessions. I've never thought on what I should live. Then you have lived on the possessions of others. You're a parasite then. Eh? A merchant also lives on the possessions of others, doesn't he? The merchant doesn't take from others for nothing. He gives goods in return. That is the way of life. Everyone takes and everyone gives. Very well. If you are without possessions, how can you give? And what can you give? Everyone gives what he can. The soldier gives strength, the merchant goods, the fisherman fish, the farmer rice. All right. You're clever. But what have you learned that you can give? I can think. I can wait. I can fast. So what? Of what use is that? It is of great value. If a man can live on nothing, he doesn't have to work. He can wait calmly for another job. Perhaps. Perhaps, Ravin. Can you read this? Twenty bales of cotton, fifty bales of silk. Payment in three weeks. Excellent. Can you write something for me? Writing is good. Thinking is better. Cleverness is good. Patience is better. Excellent. Excellent. 